folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, I got a cool video. I want to hope this is going to turn out. This is going to be a time lapse video because uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, it's raining outside. It's freezing cold. It's like 45 degrees in my shop, so Rick's turning the heater on. But uh, I got something very cool to show you. But before I show you this, I got to do a little bragging or boasting. Boasting, I think, is the word. We're going to call it bragging. But anyway, my wife has always been a great supporter of everything I do, whether it's building hot rods or mini bike racing, uh, going to car shows, anything that I want to do, she's always been a big supporter. She even pushed me to do this YouTube thing, which is, I, at the time, I was thinking, that's not really my gig, you know, I'm not good on a camera, and, uh, you know, I like t cranking my tunes in my shop, turning my phone off, and just let my creativity build things, but she said, you know, hey, we need to do this. So, and, and she works extremely long hours. Usually if I'm out here in the shop working on the weekends, she's in the house remoting in from work and working. Don't get home until real late at night. So for her to take time out of her busy schedule to do the things that I want to go do, it, it extremely means a lot. And it's, it's hard on her because she has to play catch up whenever we're gone to a race or for the week or weekend or whatever. But, uh, that being said, the sneaky little devil snuck out from work and went and got my Christmas gift, which we've been talking about this particular gift, thinking, oh, man, this would be cool for this and this event or, you know, paint or beach ride, stuff like that. So I had the door closed the other day, and she pulls up honking the horn, and I thought, who in the world is this? So she comes in the shop and says, you get up your door. Got to unload something. I was like, okay, what? So I opened the door, and lo and behold, she had this huge freaking box in the back of her truck. Yeah, that's, it takes the whole bed of her truck up. Tailgate wasn't even closed. And I was just like, what in the world? And then I took a sneak in the box. So we're going to get this thing. Uh, um, I'm going to pull the cardboard and everything off of it, leave it in the crate. But the uh, plan is, is to... Uh, show you the Christmas gift. I greatly appreciate it, my darling. But uh, that being said, uh, this is a perfect time for y'all to go over subscribe and hit the like button because I'm pretty sure you're going to like the video because we've actually talked about this and there's going to be a lot of other things if we ever got one of these that we would uh, do to it, you know, because she knows I can't leave anything alone. I got to do something crazy with everything I do. But anyway, I'm going to turn this thing off for a second and uh, get this thing out of the crate or somewhat out of the crate and uh, show you the cool Christmas gift that I got a little early. So, stay tuned. Okay, I got some of the frame off, the big steel frame that they package it in. So, I guess y'all really want to know what we got for Christmas. What I got for Christmas. This is, thing is awesome. I'm probably going to get in trouble or wreck this thing. But anyway, let's take a look at what we got going on, folks. Yes! This is a uh, 125cc uh, Jeep. So I've seen these numerous times on uh, other Facebooks, uh, deals, pop-ups. Um, followed some people that have uh, did some reviews on these things on um, uh, YouTube channels, whatnot. And I always thought, man, that would be so cool to have one of those to like ride around the neighborhood, take the grandkids riding, uh, you know, the wife to ride this thing around and pay to bring all the loot home that we always end up with. Uh, awesome for our beach parties and stuff. So I thought, man, these would be really cool. And she was like, yeah, we need one of those. So this is what the wife got me for Christmas. Check out this awesome color. It says burgundy, but I'm gonna call it red. Um, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do a time lapse because it's freezing cold. So I'm gonna turn the heater on and uh, it's raining, it's gonna get noisy. So I'm gonna put you on a tripod and uh, get the rest of the stuff out of here, get everything lined out, get a game plan turn the camera on and we're gonna get this thing put together but it's snazzy even comes with the uh, fancy wheels uh, got the bucket seats now the ones we were looking at they have several different models but uh sugar mama decided to splurge and get the fancy one with uh, the cool bucket seats in it and the flashy paint and and everything else so she uh apparently liked the red color she never cared much for the the camo or the green so uh she's like we need to get put, put a bit of big logo on, on the hood and we need to get stickers made and put your logo on the side so we'll have a, a, a shop cruising rider or whatnot. So we got a shop Jeep. So, um, 
that being said, folks, that's what we got for Christmas. We got to flip back around. All right, cameras right now. So um, I'm gonna finish getting everything unpacked, get everything lined out on some tables, and uh, we're gonna get it put together. Probably can't ride it today because it's my yard's a freaking swamp. Um, but we're at least gonna get this thing together, get it cranked up. I gotta get the battery charged because uh, I'm extremely excited to take this thing for a spin. So let's get to building.
got uh, pretty much everything else bolted on uh, bumper. I do have, uh, it comes with a uh, spare tire, which is, uh, bam, right there. It's got a uh, bracket to hold the spare tire on the back, which is pretty cool. Um, does have side mirrors, which I'm not sure about these side mirrors. Um, to me, they look a little on the, hey, they, uh, I think they might look kind of goofy on there. I don't know, we'll see what the boss says, but I kind of like it without the mirrors. But anyway, we got a spare tire to put on the back, and it all has a uh, auxiliary fuel tank, which is right over there. It's still in bubble wrap. Everything was wrapped really good on this thing, taped up really good. Um, so I uh, got to get that unpackaged, and I'm not for sure, we'll check it out once I get it unpackaged, if it's uh, actually a uh, fuel cell gas can or not. Um, somewhere over here, where did I throw it? It did come with, oh, it did come with this uh, fuel net. So, if I can zoom in on it. Anyway, so I'm gonna see once I get the tank out. I've heard that uh, the fuel cans that come with these are basically just for show or you could, you know, do whatever with it. You know, if you wanted to carry uh, water or something in it, they said they really weren't a fuel tank. But it's kind of odd that I've never seen um, one come with an actual fuel spout so we'll see so uh, we got fuel left to put in it and uh, I did go ahead and pull the uh, side cover like I said this has got a 125 cc engine in it oh come on baby zoom work with me down in that hole so it's got an access oh got an access cover right here you can pull off to get to your spark plug carburetor and all that so anytime you're working on anything in my opinion you always want to make sure that all your throttle linkage and everything is jiving like it's supposed to. Uh, this one actually does have a, uh, where's it at, right here. You got a choke lever for your cold starts. So I wanted to make sure all the cables, throttle cable, choke cable, and all that stuff was jiving properly. And I'm probably going to leave that cover off until uh, I crank it up that way. I can, you know, I can see more of the motor because on this model, the actual engine's in the back. Some models you get... Um, I've seen the, I guess you would call it like the baseline, it's not as fancy as this one. Um, they put the engine in the front, and then you have a big long chain that runs to the back. But this one has the engine in the rear, and your fuel tank is at the, at the front. So, um, got the battery all ginned up, got it full of acid, and uh, what's cool about it is it's got a little strap to hold it down. They give you a hardware and everything in the deal. Um, but this model comes with a... Uh, it was in the packaging, comes with a float charger, so, you know, if you're not using this thing for a while, you want to keep it plugged in to make sure to maintain your uh, battery voltage, so it's pretty cool, you just obviously plug it in, and it's got a couple little alligator clips that you clip, clip to your positive negative, and it has a little indicator light right here, um, it'll light up red whenever it's charging, and green when she's good to go, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted, I'm not going to film it because it is uh, mounted, uh, underneath the back fender, kind of underneath the seat, so it's way up in that area. So, I'm going to get that mounted, and uh, we'll get some gas in it, and we're almost ready for its first crank up. So, let me get to it. Alright, let's gas her up. See, I guess we can go ahead and pull this, uh, let's get the gas cap off. It's got a screen in there. Cool. Go ahead and pull this uh, coating stuff off. Don't need that on there. Drop it in the gas tank, that'd be really good. All right. Oh, there's a small piece. Yep, look at that. What'd I do? Drop it right in the funnel. All right. Just hit that right there. Grab some. I'm going to top this off with uh, some non-ethanol gas. I almost grabbed the wrong gas can and put methanol in it. That would probably not have been very good. I have to find out exactly how much uh, fuel this thing holds. It's got a pretty good sized tank on it. It's about, uh, I'd say it's almost kind of about the same size as, uh, well, not the same size, about the size of a one of those little carry-along generators, which I think holds like about a gallon and a half, something like that. But I have to find out how much uh, 
the fuel this thing holds. It does have a owner's manual that came with it that tells some of the specs on everything. All right, and then right down here on the back side is where the fuel filter and stuff is, and there's an on and off valve, so I'll go ahead and turn the gas on. Should be straight up and down while that's getting that way. I'm assuming there's probably a, a pulse pump on it somewhere, probably back on the motor. I didn't see one, but it's probably back there. But uh, I got the gas in it, caps on, fuel's on. Now I'm gonna top it off with some oil. All right, we got gas in it. We got oil in it. Let me tell you, gas underneath the front hood. I already showed you all that. You probably, can't, I can't, probably can't even see it. But uh, let me shine a light down in there. See way, it ain't even gonna zoom. Oh, that little white thing. Let's see, kind of right where the top of my finger would be. Yeah. Oh, it's not zooming. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that little uh, white color thing right down inside down there. That's where you gotta put oil in it, right behind the exhaust pipe. Huh, kind of crazy, but anyway, uh, changing oil is pretty easy. You got a drain plug right at the bottom, but uh, putting oil in it, eh, that was a fun task. So we got uh, gas and everything. I did pull a fuel line off to make sure I got uh, fuel going to the carburetor, all that good stuff, because it's uh, there is no, it's just a gravity feed. So um, got to make sure we got it neutral. So let's see how she sounds for the first time. Uh, we got a neutral indicator light, shifters in neutral. Uh, uh, pull your parking brake lever up. Let's give her a little choke. I'm trying to do this and hold the camera at the same time. Let's see how this works. Key. Oh, get back. Get the choke in here. Ha <laughs> ha! It's alive! Cool. I'm not sure what the break-in procedure is. Usually whenever I build like a motor, I'll run it through uh, a couple good heat cycles. Like, I like to do four heat cycles before I ever like dog a motor um, or you know send it, to the, send it to the moon. So I'm probably gonna do the same thing with this. It's pouring down rain outside. My yard is like a freaking swamp and this thing is immaculately shiny and clean in the shop. Even though I really wanna go ride it, but uh, yeah, so I'll probably let it do a couple good heat cycles, maybe a good 20, 30 minutes, and uh, then once we get it out and ride it, probably put a few miles on it, then I'll drop the oil in it. It did come with uh, shipping oil in it, which I'm not sure exactly what it was, uh, but I'm probably gonna use uh, uh, the Tillerson oil. It's really good oil. I get to go power sports. I, I run that in all my bikes. Uh, very good stuff. So uh, we got, got lights on the back. Quiet. Let's see what the features this thing's got. You have a, uh, this is your gear selector. I don't want to put it in gear because uh, I do have the parking brake on, which that's another cool feature. It's got a parking brake lever. Get my finger out of the way. It's got a parking brake lever, so you can apply the parking brake. And uh, it's got front, front disc and hydraulic, and it's got one big rear disc hydraulic, so that, that locks the cart from going anywhere. Uh, like I said, neutral indicator, and I'm not sure this is, um, oh, so it's got a, oh, I'm looking at the sticker. We got an RPM gauge. Let's see if that works. Oh, Nelly, it does. Uh, red button is nitrous. Let's see right there. Oh, that's the horn. Get back. Uh, and there, your gear selector's got a three speed with reverse, so you got three forward gears. Get in here. Three forward gears. You got your neutral and the reverse. Look at the fancy. Look at that. Well, now I need to do is get me a uh, upgraded things I like to do. This is a Hurst Speed Shifter with a pull ball grip. Footprint gas pedal I'm going to get installed. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we got, let's see, lights. Let's go check it out. We got lights. Nope. Did I not turn the lights on? Maybe I turn the lights off. Let's see what we got. Ha <laughs> ha, get back. That's pretty snazzy. Supposed to have turn signals, like a car. Let's see if we got them. Let's check all of them. Oh yeah, she's flashing. Let's go ahead and check the front one. Oh yeah, that light's 
splashing the slickles back. Blinky, blinky. All right, let's check the right side on the rear. Oh, yeah. That's neater than I'll get out. So it's pretty cool, just like having a car. Uh, I don't know what that one does. That's uh, on and off. Does that turn off brake lights, maybe? I don't know what that one does. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, well, I think we're going to get rid of that. Probably get rid of the stars. But very cool. Very quiet. Even though it's inside the shop. Looks pretty snazzy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this thing run a little bit. Turn the camera off. Turn my heater back on because I'm freezing cold. And uh, we got the, uh, let's see, got to put a spare tire on it, and we got to get the fuel cell mounted on it. So let me get that done, and then we'll take a final look at this thing, see how she looks. All righty, folks. She's done, or put together anyway. It's pretty cool. Got your spare tire, which actually is functional, in case you're out somewhere and you got a flat. And uh, I did look at the fuel tank. Yeah, it does have a vent on it, and you can, uh, unscrew the cap and it has the little nozzle uh, that I showed you earlier that uh, screws into that so you're able to uh, refill your uh, your engine which would be cool you know we go on beach ride or something somebody always runs out of gas and that looks like it holds quite a bit it says 10 liters I guess whatever that is I don't know it looks like you know gallon or two something two gallons but anyway very cool got the adjustable seats in it which is pretty handy and uh, I didn't sit behind the wheel yet because I don't want to try and ride it, and I'm not. But uh, sitting in it with the, the seats actually forward where I have them right now, so I can actually still slide the seats back, you know, pretty good bit. And then you can actually adjust the whole uh, seat itself is actually slotted. So um, for a dope, it actually uh, it's got quite a bit of leg room in it. You can always, you know, throw one foot out the side right here on put on your running board. Um, it did come with seat belts. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put the seat belts in it. Uh, they actually bolt right here to the the back back of the seats and whatnot. But uh, I think I'm gonna opt out and leave the seat belts out for now. But uh, I'm extremely excited excited to get this thing out and uh, took her for a first rip. Uh, it's cold in the shop, so I'm gonna run it through a couple more heat cycles, let it cool completely down, um, and uh, then after we take it for its probably its first uh, maiden voyage. I'm going to uh, drop the oil in it at that time. So, but anyway, so I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. We uh, am going to do a ride along, take y'all for a ride on it. Um, but it's just, it's, it's cold outside. My yard's a swamp. Um, so anyway, but hope you all enjoyed this part of the video. So if you liked it, make sure and give a thumbs up. Um, if you have uh, any ideas what you think I should do to this thing, I know the wife's probably already got a whole list of stuff she wants to do. We'll probably put some like cool flashy lights on it. I don't know, some uh, maybe a light bar or something. Might do something for some jams in it when we're riding on the beach. Uh, maybe I might even put a top on this thing or something, you know, that where we're on the beach riding around. Wife's got a little shade, I don't know. So you think of some cool snazzy idea uh, that I need to do to this thing or you'd like to see done to it or whatnot, hey, drop a comment below. And uh, thumbs up would be greatly appreciated if you like it. And I really like it. Uh, I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's the first time, uh, like a, first time you ever got that first bicycle, you know, it's been around the Christmas tree, you come around the corner, and it's like, whoa, you got a brand new bicycle. And it's like, yeah, I got a toy Jeep, 50 years old and still playing with toys. But hey, that's what keeps me young inside, right? But anyway, so I got a special thanks to the wife for uh, uh, taking the time from her work and busy schedule and surprising me with this awesome gift. Uh, I kind of been talking about one of these for a long time and uh, when she showed up with it, I was just like, wow. Uh, so I'm extremely excited. So thank you so very much for the awesome Christmas gift. It's one of those gifts that's gonna keep on giving. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna quit rambling, uh, pick up this mess I got all over the shop and uh, like I said, y'all see, y'all think of something that uh, be cool on this to do to it hey drop me a line below or a good comment or whatnot anyway so stay tuned for the ride along hopefully that might be in this video or if not we'll make another one so in the meantime y'all take care see y'all soon
No, I want to ride. You want to ride? Yeah. Have fun, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Let's blow this pops up the sand. All right. What gear are we in? First gear. First gear. All right, here we go. The cars. Oh, shit.